There we go. This is a hack match provided very kindly by Michi. Uh, as I was saying, Michi is regarded by many people that I know as the best hack out there. And that is saying something. Uh, we're going to see what we can learn from him. Uh, notice that the game is in German. That's why I think he's German, but I'm not quite sure. Some of the perks that he's running, we're going to comment over them really quickly. You cannot see them because my boosted ass is taking over. But... <laughs> uh. Uh, we are dealing with Corrupt Intervention, which I think is a fantastic hack perk. It literally limits the amount of gens that survivors can work on at the start. It forces them towards you. It it makes them get to you quicker, but it, they, it also robs them of a lot of early repairs. And by the time they get to you, if you're Michi, you're probably gonna, they're probably going to be in trouble. He has Save the Best for Last, which is an amazing hack perk. It allows you to teleport to your traps quicker after a hit. And if you have enough traps set, if you have what's called a, a web or a perimeter of traps, uh, you know, you hit a hit, recover very quickly. By the time they hit the next one, you're ready to teleport and hit them immediately. To supplement, say the best for last, he's also running Dark Devotion. Every time he hits the Obsession, he will lose his Terror Radius. And it's very chaotic, and I think this game shows that very well. On top of that, I would have not expected it, but he's running Make Your Choice. Make Your Choice is a very, very powerful hack on the uh, perk on the hack. I would have thought that it wouldn't be so good against good players or when you're an advanced hack, but we'll see how he uses it. I'm curious about that one. So now that we know about the perks, we can probably... Put myself right here, and I'll watch with you fellas. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Come on, love. Baby. Come on. That's, that's you almost... That's crazy. almost rude. Thank you for the 19 months. <laughs> Sorry, I don't mean to keep interrupting, but thank you. Is everything good? Yeah. Let's go. So, he sets a trap here. This is more of like a crossroad kind of trap, I imagine. I'm gonna learn with you guys. I'm not, I don't know. I haven't watched the game before. I only watched like the first 30 seconds. But I know that his philosophy early game is to set as many traps as possible and set up a perimeter before the survivors bump into you. He's already seen some scratch marks though. Let's see what he does. He hears some bones to the right and see this Meg who makes an excellent orbital brain Play right there. Mind games a bit. Bones are broken now. Someone else was there. Meg teleports. Meg triggers the traps and he teleports immediately. The quicker the teleport, the better the hack. I don't know if he binds it to. Oh, that's the obsession, by the way. I don't know if he binds it to mouse wheel, but that was really fast. He's probably not going to chase that person, instead just reset more traps. Notice that he has six in his hand. I'm pretty sure that he'll be more comfortable chasing people and pushing them around when, when he's got only one or two left. I imagine. They were for the rescue. They're crouching out to avoid the trap that he didn't even place. He's... Yeah, nice. Good job. He didn't break the pallet, waited for her to step on that. He's not going to pick her up because that could be a DS. Instead, he's gonna go for that hit, and now he'll trap this, and I guess he'll expect David to trigger one of those two. Will he? Very sweet. He resets that trap, because it was good, right here in the middle. He has a key, I just noticed that. And thank you for the big thumbs up, by the way. Uh, another gen was on in the distance. That girl is up, maybe Unbreakable, maybe the obsession went in. But he's got something working with him. That was fast, that was really fast, holy shit. Nice. Make your choice. Didn't trigger yet? Now it did. Oh! The timing on that. I think this is not the make your choice. I think the make your choice is the one that dropped the pilot early. Holy shit, it was this guy. Oh, this is Trapper Main 69. Holy shit. This guy is really, really good as well. That timing on the fucking trap though. Holy shit. I'm actually gonna go back. We need to analyze that a bit better. Right, 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 right. Right. So here he gets a David. He's used to make your choice, so I'm sure that he's trapped placement. It's no accident. He resets this one. This is the one that got triggered, huh? Does he put one in front of the hook? I don't think he did. Hmm, he seems to be improvising a bit. What did he do here? He trapped he teleported immediately. So that was a little bit of luck that that trap got triggered. It got triggered by a different survivor. But the timing was fucking absolutely on point. 
Yeah, he must have. He must have known that. He must have figured that this Meg was to make your choice. Good fucking job, dude. I would have. I would have made a mistake there. Look at that. Right. He'll hook and probably work really quickly to reset his uh, web traps. It puts him a little bit further away. He's told me that he does that to trick survivors into, you know, who don't crouch close enough and make them think that they have to crouch only when they're close. Another trap here, I imagine. He doesn't tell. Ooh, deliverance. That's pretty dirty. Right, the obsession's right here. He wants to hit her. Hit on the obsession, he loses his terror radius. And now I imagine he'll use this lack of uh, red stain and terror radius to go for someone else. Unlucky. He doesn't chase normally, notice. <laughs> the obsession was here in the terror radius the whole time, she had no idea where the hag was. So she just randomly run back into her. Pretty funny. Nibble, thank you for the two months as well. Cheers. Uh, David's there. He's gonna try to push him towards the traps he set. Wow. He must be very confident. Yeah, there's a couple pallets and they're all trapped. And even that corner to his left is trapped eventually, right? He might say, but he might set another here. Now he's going for the hit. Stacks, bloody stacks. Dirty. He's still within range of make your choice. Ooh, this is terrible. This is you know. Someone's far away doing gents, Mr. Skill check. Mm. Now he's identified this drop spot. Now he's using that trap. Very smart. Imagine you go through that window and your trap, your camera, immediately snaps back to the wall. That would be really annoying, wouldn't it? That's what he's going for by placing that trap so close to the wall. That trap that he's setting right here, that he's taking a little time to, is something very special. We'll come in that later. No, make your choice now. Doesn't matter though, save the best for last. I would have probably not hit that. Okay, okay, let's see if that's- Oh, never mind, he's a fucking god. Maybe he took that into consideration, that he would have this trap. But yeah, the trap that he put on that pallet actually allows him to teleport on top of the pallet. If he triggers it right. Remember, no terror radius. It's back on the mag. Sorry, on the fang. So that made this, uh, this mag get caught off guard. Very smart. He's gonna do the same thing right here, I believe. I hope one of these ones gets triggered and you see what it's like. Trapper main 69 is very good, but he was not dealing with any of that shit. He killed himself on the hook. That's a shame. He doesn't have any traps there. I would go to the left, exactly. He has no terror radius now. Yeah, there you go. He fucking teleported like the minute he fucking triggered that. Holy shit. What do you guys think of that? Yeah. Why are you playing in German? I'm not playing, dude. I'm, I'm literally pressing my arms. We're watching an analysis game from Michi, who is a friend of ours and a very good hack. Is this pretty dedicated? No, no, it's very recent, I believe. Because we see the stutter of the traps. One very useful advice, by the way. If you look at the trap that you're teleporting to, you don't stutter. Like, there's no flicker on your screen. He, no he taught me that, and it's it's a game changer. If you directly stare at the trap that you're gonna teleport to, it removes that really nasty glitch. I hope they fix it soon. I was just playing with no hand. That was really good. And he doesn't show the end game screen, but he was playing at rank 3. And at least one of those survivors, I think I've versed, and I know are like, you know, one of those 5,000 hour survivors or something. Obviously, probably not part of a team, but uh, GG still. Well done. Well done, Michi. That was a really, really interesting game. I'd love to see Say the Best for Last and Dark Devotion together. There's the intro again. Watch out. That's spooky, man. <laughs> Michi provided us with yet another game of his gameplay uh, with Hag. Michi, again, uh, for anybody that didn't catch the previous one. 
one of the best and most knowledgeable uh, hack players out there. He's very, very good. He was also a bit of a pioneer, developed many of the techniques and traps uh, that now people use with what? hack uh, back when she was very, very bugged and very, very terrible. Then when the hack got a huge buff, it made all of that way, way stronger. Thank you, Kix, for your fourth month. We're going to watch this game. Uh, he didn't tell me much about the game. I haven't seen it at all. So we'll be reacting and analyzing it together. The one thing I know about it is that he told me that this match is a good example of why pre pre preparing is better than actively chasing people. So preparation and prep is, prep in general is like better than uh, actively playing with her. We'll watch it together and see what's up. I'll be breaking it down a little bit, but not a whole lot. Ooh, Frozen Elsa hack on the... Yeah, I believe that's Mother's Dwelling, which is literally the biggest map in the game. That is very, very significant. He has the exact, the exact same perk set that we saw him use last time. Corrupt Intervention. In a map this big, Corrupt Intervention is huge. So look at those three generators in the far back. If you take the area around these, those three generators, that's like a third or, or like almost half the map. That is a huge part of the map where survivors have nothing to do. They have nothing to do. And he doesn't have to bother going there. This is why Corrupt is such a good perk on, on the hack, I feel. Um, he, if survivors linger around, linger around there and they do chests and they find totems, that's perfect. He, that will give him time to do um to do his preparing and if survivors come to him well that's good too they'll start triggering his traps a little bit earlier we'd say the best for last in dark devotion he's got a one ball combo he keeps hitting people indiscriminately and he has quicker and quicker recovery which allows him to teleport between his traps and he also loses his terror rage with dark devotion uh we already got into that and we explained it and make your choice very mean pair on hack barely requires any explaining he also is running no add-ons at all so keep that in mind he can teleport up to 40 meters the traps that are triggered by default, I think, stay up five seconds. So everything is default. Let's go watch. Trap on top of the hill. He's gonna do one around this pallet. Probably to catch someone going around the pallet, or maybe even someone doing this crossroad. Where will he trap here, I wonder? Right there. Interesting. The one in the middle of the tile. And now you have people running towards gens and starting gens now as opposed to like a gen being out of the halfway done by three people that spawn on it. Next to the window of the shack, interesting. He's out of the six scratch marks and I think he's trying to stay hidden. Yeah, nice. He's got four, four left. Nice, he's gonna try to... I'm surprised he didn't go for the... I didn't even hear that, holy shit. I was surprised he didn't go for the Dwight because he was the one running towards his traps. Holy shit. That girl lasted like a second. Replaces that trap and we'll pick her up. Ooh, that was quick. Keep it. I don't think he'll do that. I like. Okay, that was interesting. Dark Devotion active, by the way. Terra Radius is now on the Dwight. If he goes away, she'll be here and not be heard. That might have been a bit risky, given the flicker. I guess worth a shot though. Did she run away? She's still there. I think she's still on that pallet, yeah. Push her around. What will he do? I think he's gonna reset traps, because he's got seven traps on his hand. I would have chased- see? I would have chased her. Because I feel like it could have made her step on something. But Michi probably knows better. It's like, no, this is a time where I have a person on the hook. They're, you know, recovering from the those slaps I gave left and right. Time to reset. He probably knows better. Hmm. He didn't trap that hook, but he can push them from the left to the right. And that make your choice is going to be really, really mean. Let's see if he downs that cape with it. Yeah, I think that's what he's looking to do. Ooh, where's the cape? I'll trap this. No? Ooh. It's getting a bit greedy for this gate, I feel. Yep, he's gonna give up on her.
Don't have to worry about her then. I'm very surprised these robbers were here, but I guess all the other gens were blocked until recently, so... I'm very surprised they were, like, right here. Because, this, like, this point right here is, like, basically the center of all of his robbers. Of traps. It's like the lion's den, and they're right inside it. Oh, it's really German. I'm not German. How the fuck did you find her? But the person that we're watching, Michi, plays in German, I believe. You guys, you know, read up. <laughs> How the fuck do you hear her? You know what? We have a chance to learn what the hell just happened. Let's just do that. Okay, I, I, we need to watch a little bit before that. Okay, okay, okay. This is this is the important part. He sees them both. Um, I wasn't paying so much attention. Feng is to the right. Yuri is to the left. Yuri is down, but look at this point right now. Do you see scratch marks in front of him? You don't see scratch marks in front of him. You see scratch marks on the locker. You see them on the locker? If the Feng had continued to run towards the shack, the scratch marks should be like in front and heading towards the shack. But they're not there. So what I would do, and I don't remember if that's what he did, is check to see if she doubled back. And if she didn't double back, check the locker. There's a trap here. He... I guess he... Does he check? Yeah, he checks, he doesn't see any scratch marks, and he's like, he, she needs to be in this corner. There you go. Now it makes a lot more sense, doesn't it? You could hear her? Yeah, if she was injured and didn't have um, Iron Will, you could hear her in the locker, but, you know, maybe watching a video, we, we, we don't have the ability to be that uh, precise. You always miss out a little bit. He's one of- Oh shit, that was filthy! Do you see what he did there? He stepped back to make let make your choice happen. And now these two people are vulnerable. This girl will go down. If make your choice triggers, that means that she has no more time, 100%. Unless, you know, you're playing some other killer with distressing or something. That would be a down. Yep. This girl is not the make your choice, I think. It's the Jake. What? But the Jake now needs to be super fucking careful because he could go down and the entire team could be down. Yep. This is a delicate time, though, because she has eight traps. If they have Unbreakable and stuff, they could make a comeback, I feel. No dead heart. He'll pick her up. Merciless boy. Thank you so much for your prime. Welcome. Hmm. She teabag? Yeah. He probably wanted to get his attention. Maybe she's running DS. Alright. Uh, all his traps were pretty much triggered, and he got some good value out of it, don't take me wrong. Notice that he's had a couple make your choices, and he hasn't he hasn't really used them. If he had add-ons, by the way, he would have hit that make your choice, probably. Because the traps would have stayed longer, or he would have been able to teleport from further. So that's that's the one maybe time where add-ons could have helped her a bit. Yep, they just went to the shack, picked up the fang, right? There she is. Not sure if that was the balance, but if she, if it was, she didn't get enough uh, time to trigger it. And she's fucking dead as shit. We'll see later if Asian Spring Roll had DS, because she seemed to be baiting it. Oh, here's a gem being down here. So if this is Dwight and... Oh, this is an interesting trap. If this is Dwight and Kate was on the hook, that means Yui is to make your choice by elimination. Because, you know, Fang is dead. So that Yui right there is his target. Down. Oh, bit of a whiff. Down she goes. And he's gonna carry her towards the traps, I suppose. Or no, because these guys are all fucking here. Never mind. This guy had a flashlight save, maybe that's what he was trying to do. Is the language German? Yeah, I believe he- I, I believe Mitch is German. But I haven't written his autobiography. If I did, it wouldn't be an autobiography. But you know what I mean. I, I, I don't know- I don't know him personally that well. But I think he is. Somebody is on that gen. And they went to the right, uh, uh, judging the phantasm. I think they're all here. He's now down to meme. Uh, yeah, the, the language is German. We just don't know if he's German or, you know, from someone else. Mm. 
He was ex he was expecting that. I'm gonna drop this look and yeah, he's gonna approach the skill and probably catch her. We've got there she is. Ooh, she had that card this whole time. Considering how big this map is, that is that is a pretty impressive game. What do you guys think of it? It might not be over yet, but it's looking like that's it. Hey, view. I'm so sorry to hear, man. But whatever work you're doing, I bet it's very, very crucial. So thank you for doing that. And Bofan, thank you so much for your crucial support as well. Thank you for the three months. Hmm. That last drop. This guy's good. This guy's very, very good. I think the most uh, the most interesting thing he did was that little step back to use make your choice. That's something you don't see all the time. <laughs> did Michi make a YouTube or Twitch yet? Yeah, he did. And I will link you up. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, I'll link you up in the description. And if you're watching it live on Twitch, it will be in the chat in just a minute. Oh dear. He's out. He was running out of hooks there, I guess. He's got a few nasty traps around here, though. Not sure how long he'll be able to run her. This is a bit like Trapper, where you're gonna try to like run her from one way to another. Yeah, he tried to go to the right to get her to step on the on the phantasm trap on the left, I think. But it seems like either way she would have been she would have been uh bombed. No hatch for you, eh? No fucking mercy, holy shit, dude. <laughs> I hope to see the, the post-game lobby and see some of the perks and the ranks. How do you know, uh, do you know Brazilian streamer Sousa Soul? He's really good. I might have heard of him, but I'm not sure. I might have seen a clip or two. <laughs> what if your girlfriend was a better trapper than me? Then I would fucking watch her and get some tips. On buying cards, dudes are. Yeah, yeah, nice. Well done, Michi. Rank two. Hell yeah, dude. So, did Asian Spring don't have DS? No, she did not. Wow. Well, that was fun. What do you guys think of that? Um, by the way, um, here is the channel once again. Please, uh, if you want to see more high content, he's already uploaded the previous game that we watched the other day. Uh, I'm sure he's going to upload more, and eventually he's going to make a guide. He's uh, I've also um, uh, kidnapped him a tiny little bit and <laughs> recruited his help to help me make a guide for the Hag and other killers that I'm putting together. So you got that to look forward to. Thank you so much for watching. Hope that was fun.